Western Michigan University has a first of its kind program in the U.S. enlisting an elite group of college students to help the Michigan State Police cold case unit. What program get, allows you to look at cold cases from 1980s, 1990s, there's nothing like this. I think people don't give these college students enough credit. So when this criminal justice professor had a friend in law enforcement complain about too many cold cases and not enough people to solve them, she thought. I have all these really bright students and I'm always searching for a real world um, research project. In time, the Western Michigan University cold case program was born. They do everything from uh, we just toured a murder scene. They find uh, death records and property ownership records and military records and anything that would make the case better. There's thousands of pages that we um, scan through our scanners and then it is digitalized into a PDF document. They can just search uh, one letter word and any page that has that word on it, they can look at it. So it allows detectives to look for things within seconds instead of digging through old documents and pages. The very first case that my students um, helped MSP on, uh, MSP um, got an arrest and a, um, a, a plea deal. The murder of Roxanne Wood, a case that had gone unsolved for more than 30 years. There's just something about reading old police files, reading like, and just looking through like white pages, trying to find people. It's just, it's just something about that that I really just tickles like a certain part of my brain. Recalling just how eager he was to join once he found out about the program from Dr. K after taking one of her classes. That sounds amazing. I, I, as soon as she, she said that, I, I, I applied. And not just anyone can join. Besides an essay submission, plus meeting GPA and course requirements. The students have to submit to a background check. And are sworn to secrecy. That means they can't talk to their parents or their roommates or even my colleagues about the cases that they're working on. Something she says her career depends on. My credibility is shot if they release something uh, that shouldn't be released and um, they've never let me down. Looking up to those who protect and serve, even considering their own careers in law enforcement. I am interested in going into the academy for Michigan State Police or going into the FBI. Once I graduate here, I'm gonna go to trooper school, hopefully, be a trooper for a couple years and move up to a detective. Perhaps all part of growing interest in true crime. Part of this love of these new cr true crime stories is that a lot of these cold cases are being resolved by law enforcement because the DNA technology has um, uh, improved so much. I think we're going to get to a point, I hope, where we don't have cold cases. The work we do, uh, at least in this program, is not typically fun. It's just a lot of reading and all that type of stuff. And I'm not a huge fan of reading, but yet I still love coming into here all the time. It's not only important to the victims' families, but for us too. I feel like we are making a difference, and I'm so glad we get the opportunity to. It's a lesson too for those monsters on the street. If you did something and you left your DNA, we're going to find you. Now, this program is only open to WMU students, though the director, Dr. K, tells me she gets hundreds of calls every week from people all over wanting to join and help. It's going so well, Dr. K has been traveling the country, encouraging other universities to start similar programs.